Today, we're delving into the depths of the criminal world with a topic that's as intriguing as it is unsettling. Weird prison stories. From bizarre escape attempts to mind, boggling inmate talents. Get ready to be both amazed and bewildered by the tales we're about to unravel. Now, I know what you're thinking. Prisons are places of confinement and control, but the human spirit can be astonishingly creative, even in the most restricted environments. Throughout history, these walls have borne witness to some of the most peculiar and jaw-dropping stories you can imagine. So, whether you're a true crime aficionado or just someone looking for a dose of the extraordinary, you're in for a treat. But before we start our journey behind bars, remember to hit that subscribe button and ring the notification bell so you won't miss any of the riveting stories we have in store for you. Who? Oh. And speaking of riveting, make sure to stick around until the end of the video because we've got a jaw-dropping tale that'll leave you questioning the limits of human ingenuity. Whether you're watching from the comfort of your home or sneaking a peek during your lunch break, get ready to be captivated by these tales that blur the lines between reality and the surreal. Trust me, you won't want to look away. So, without further ado, let's unlock the cell doors and dive into the enigmatic world of weird prison stories. Get ready for stories that'll challenge your imagination and leave you wondering what goes on behind those iron bars. Let's start with The Unbelievable Chess Gambit, a true prison tale. Once upon a time, in the heart of a maximum security prison, a peculiar and seemingly impossible event unfolded. This story takes us back to the late 1990s, to a correctional facility where inmates lived out their sentences, each with their own secrets and stories. Among these inmates was a man named Alex, a quiet and unassuming figure who had been convicted of white-collar crime. He spent his days in a small, dimly lit cell, poring over books on strategy, mathematics, and, most notably, chess. He had become known around the prison for his uncanny ability to strategize and predict outcomes, a skill he had honed through countless hours of self-taught study. One day, a chess tournament was organized within the prison walls. Inmates from various cell blocks joined, each hoping to showcase their skills and claim the title of prison chess champion, while many had their eyes on the grand prize, a few extra hours of yard time each week. Alex seemed to have a different motivation. As the tournament progressed, Alex's opponents were astonished by his calculated moves and heckable foresight. He defeated his adversaries one by one, his concentration unbreakable his demeanor serene. But what truly baffled both inmates and guards alike was his consistent practice of predicting his opponent's next moves, several turns in advance. Whispers of Alex's extraordinary abilities spread through the prison like wildfire. Even those who had no interest in chess found themselves drawn to the unfolding spectacle. Guards began to stop by, leaning against the cell bars to observe the matches shaking their heads in disbelief as Alex continued to defy conventional wisdom. As the final match of the tournament approached, tension hung in the air like a storm cloud. Alex's opponent was Tony, a burly inmate known for his aggression, both on and off the chessboard. The match began, and Alex's fingers moved with deliberate purpose, his eyes focused intensely on the board. The game reached a critical juncture, Tony leaned forward, his eyes narrowed, and made a move that seemed to spell imminent victory. But then, as if guided by an invisible hand, Alex countered with a move that sent shockwaves through the room. It was a move that seemed irrational, illogical, until the pieces fell into place. With a series of precisely calculated moves, Alex cornered Tony's king, leaving him with no way to escape checkmate. The room erupted into cheers and applause as Tony, defeated and astounded, extended his hand in congratulations. As Alex stood victorious, a sense of awe swept through the prison. In the weeks that followed, his story spread far beyond the prison walls, capturing the imagination of people around the world. Psychologists, mathematicians, and chess enthusiasts were all drawn to the enigma of Alex's mind 
and his ability to perceive the game on an entirely different plane. In a world where freedom was scarce and choices limited, Alex had found a way to exercise his intellect, rising above his circumstances through the sheer power of his mind. And while the prison remained a place of confinement, for a brief moment, it also became a place where the boundaries of human potential were stretched beyond imagination. Such audacity. This second story seems more interesting, by the way. The Melodic Escape, a true prison tale. In a sprawling state penitentiary, where the clinking of chains and the echoing of footsteps were the backdrop of daily life, an extraordinary escape plan unfolded, one that no one could have predicted. Amidst the grim environment, there lived a man named Carlos, who had a remarkable talent that set him apart from his fellow inmates. He possessed a voice that could move hearts, a voice that had once graced prestigious stages before his life took a tumultuous turn. Carlos was a classically trained opera singer, and his powerful, haunting melodies had once brought audiences to tears. But now, his stage was the prison yard, and his audience consisted of hardened criminals. Every evening, as the sun dipped below the horizon, Carlos would stand at a corner of the yard and fill the air with his soulful areas. In those moments, the prison's grim walls seemed to disappear, replaced by the echoes of beauty and hope. One day, while Carlos sang passionately, a curious thing happened. A guard who had a penchant for music stopped in his tracks, captivated by the melody. He approached Carlos and struck up a conversation, sharing his own love for music. This simple exchange marked the beginning of an unexpected friendship. Over time, the guard and Carlos developed a unique bond, discussing music, life, and even their dreams. The guard began to view Carlos as more than just an inmate. He saw the man behind the prison number. The guard's genuine interest in Carlos's well-being led to a daring proposition, an idea that was as daring as it was audacious. The guard hatched a plan to smuggle Carlos out of the prison during a night shift change. Disguised as a guard himself, Carlos would walk out of the prison under the nose of unsuspecting colleagues, blending in with the uniformed personnel. The night of the escape arrived, and tension hung heavy in the air. Carlos, his heart pounding, donned the guard's uniform, a stark departure from the prison garb he had worn for years. As the night shift change began, he joined the line of guards, his voice quelling his inner turmoil. Miraculously, the plan worked. Carlos walked past security checkpoints, his heart pounding in his chest with every step. The guard on duty, an accomplice in his plan, averted his gaze, and Carlos found himself on the other side of the prison gates, free for the first time in years. Carlos's escape reverberated through the prison and beyond his story of an operatic voice that had transcended walls and forged an unlikely bond captured the imagination of those who heard it. For a while, the prison yard was devoid of the melodies that had brought solace to its inhabitants, but the legacy of Carlos's courage and the power of human connection endured. In the end, it wasn't just Carlos's escape that left an indelible mark on that penitentiary. It was the harmony of his voice and the harmony of a friendship that defied the odds proving that even within the harshest confines, the human spirit could find a way to soar. Lastly, guys, finding light behind bars, a true prison redemption. And so, in the midst of darkness, a glimmer of hope emerged within the walls of a prison name. This is the tale of Ain Mate Natist, a story that serves as a reminder that even in the most challenging circumstances, the human spirit can find its way to redemption. Dynemate Naintha, once considered one of the prison's most notorious inmates, embarked on a journey of transformation that would inspire those around him. Serving a sentence for a violent crime, he had spent years consumed by anger and bitterness. But as time went on, something within him shifted. Through the prison's educational programs, inmate name discovered a passion for literature and writing. His words became a channel for self-expression, allowing him to reflect on his past and envision a different future. He penned heartfelt letters of apology to his victims, words that carried the weight of remorse and the promise of change. As his writing touched the hearts of fellow inmates and even some of the prison staff, 
line mate name found himself in a unique position. He became a mentor, guiding others on a path of personal growth and transformation. His story was no longer just about his own redemption. It was about extending a lifeline to those who felt trapped in their own despair. The prison walls could not contain Ein Mate Name's newfound purpose. He began advocating for educational programs, using his voice to bring attention to the potential for change within the prison system. His efforts caught the attention of advocacy groups and eventually led to reforms that would provide inmates with greater access to education and rehabilitation programs. Today, Ein Mate Nain has not only served his sentence, but has emerged as an advocate for criminal justice reform. His journey from darkness to light has touched the lives of countless individuals, reminding us all that no one is beyond the reach of transformation and redemption. As we conclude this video, let Inmate Nain's story serve as a powerful testament to the resilience of the human spirit and the capacity for change. If he can find his way to redemption within the confines of his prison name, imagine the possibilities that lie ahead for each of us. Thank you for joining us on this thought, provoking journey through true prison stories. If you found this video as inspiring as we did, don't forget to hit that like button and share it with your friends. And if you haven't already, make sure to subscribe and ring the notification bell so you never miss out on the fascinating stories we bring to you. Remember, the stories we've shared today remind us that empathy, compassion, and second chances can thrive even in the unlikeliest of places. Until next time, keep seeking knowledge, spreading positivity, and embracing the potential for change in every corner of our world. I remain Kez Way.